All right, Vegas Matt's 10 commandments. Commandment number one is always use your player's card. Some people I've heard say things like, you know, take your card out for luck or whatever, or if you have your card in, it's unlucky, they know it's you and they don't pay you. That's not true. It's a random number generator, you get what you get. But if you have your player's card in, you get all kinds of benefits. The casinos track your play, they see how much you play, they're gonna want you to come back. They're gonna send you offers in the mail for free play, free rooms, free meals, etc. If you work hard at certain casinos and, and hit certain tiers, like here at this casino, I'm at owner's club level, which gives you free rooms whenever you want, and even a, a Mercedes car payment. So there's so much money, don't leave it on the table, always use your player's card. All right, so I'm about to play one of my favorite games, Rich Little Piggies. I'll be using my player's card. I'll let you know if I win or lose and how many points I get. So 10 minutes later, $158 profit and 1,351 valuable player points, or as we call them, VPPs. Always use your card. All right, Vegas Matt's second commandment always swipe your card when you walk into the casino. At almost all the casinos now, you're gonna see these kiosks, okay? So you wanna take your card when you first get to the casino and you want to swipe it. Then you then it generally asks for your pin and it will give you various promotions. Sometimes there's offers that are just good for that day. For example, at my home casino that I go to the most at Green Valley Ranch on Thursdays and Sundays, they have 10 times points, but only if you swipe. So, uh, you got to swipe. There's sometimes there's drawing entries and so forth that you got to swipe for. Sometimes, like at the win, they have one where you swipe, and then every certain amount of points that you earn that day, you get an entry in a drawing. Today, we've got a multiplier: eight times reels and two times video poker. That's a lot. I mean, we're gonna play a lot of slots today. Later, we're gonna come back, see how many points we've earned, how much it's worth. Good thing we swiped, or we wouldn't get that 8x multiplier. Commandment number three: Never chase your losses. I can't tell you how many times I lost, like. A thousand or fifteen hundred dollars and I went on tilt and I got a marker and I chased it and I tried to get that thousand back and ended up losing ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars just book the loss take it don't start going crazy chasing losses now another thing good example this machine I'm playing right now we have a nice win we started with around a thousand dollars had it up to twenty five hundred it's now twenty one twelve I set what's called a floor. Right, I set a floor of 2,000. I'm not going below 2,000. So set a floor, don't chase your losses. All right, sadly, hit my floor. Don't have enough for one more spin. 2006, I'm cashing out. Still a $1,000 winner. Not gonna chase it. Boom. All right, commandment number four, very important. Don't drink and gamble. Now, a lot of people are gonna fight me on this, but you know what, in general, drinking, not great for you. You don't tend to make great decisions. And you can lose a lot of money gambling, and if you start to get your judgment not really clear, you can lose a lot more money. Some of my most reckless losses have been when I started drinking and gambling. So, all I can tell you, now, go to commandment number seven, do as I say, not as I do, but do not drink and gamble, especially to excess. It's not good for you anyway. All right, now, here is an important one. Don't be afraid to book a win. When you get up, I don't even care, maybe you only been at the casino for a half hour or an hour and you get a nice win, over time, they've got an advantage on you. Every time you push that button, that win can go away. If you have a nice win, book it. Book that win. Go to dinner. Go to the spa, go have a good time. Can't tell you how many times I've been up a couple thousand dollars and then I just keep playing, give away that couple thousand dollars and another five or ten thousand dollars. It'll make you crazy. Learn to book the win and enjoy the amenities of the casino. And also refer to the do as I say, not as I do commandment. All right, another very important commandment, get a host. I mean, unless you're, you know, you play really small and so forth, but if you're playing decent amounts of money, find out who your host is. A lot of times you can go to VIP and say, is there a host assigned to me? Can I talk to a host? You want to try to get a relationship. Some of my, my best hosts are the ones that are like my friends. The people I, it's like, I have a friend at the casino. You can text them. You know, a lot of the, the good hosts respond to texts all the time. Um, I had a situation where I had a really nice offer mailed to me to go to Reno where they pay my airfare and give me a bunch of free play and that offer expired. I called, you know, the 800 number and they said, have a nice day. I, I texted my host. He said, hey, I got it, I backdated, I'm gonna get you in, I'm gonna get you free rooms, I'm gonna get you the airfare, I'm gonna get you the offer. So hosts are your liaison to the casino. Get
get a host and build a good relationship with your host. All right, this is a very important commandment, number seven. Do as I say, not as I do. I sat down at this machine just to do one bonus round. I was playing max bet dimes, switched to dollars, should have set a floor. I've had $3,000 into this machine, totally idiotic, breaking all my rules. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, this is also a very important commandment. If you're gonna gamble, gamble smart. Choose your games wisely. Like, never play 6-5 blackjack. You know, just for the 3-2, obviously. Um, I've seen a lot of things popping up recently with roulette where they have three zeros. Two zeros is bad enough. You can find one zero in a lot of the high limit rooms. Also, in a room like this with a bunch of video poker machines, if you walk around, you might see in the same room two games that have different pay tables. So always go for the best pay tables, play the smart games, and uh, that's it. All right, here's one of my personal commandments. If you're already gambling, you might as well gamble. Whenever you're playing a game that has a mystery pick or a mystery choice, always choose the mystery choice because you have a shot at bigger wins. You could end up getting the 15, 30, or 40x multiplier with 25 games. So let's go see what we get. So we're getting six games with the worst. The absolute worst that you could possibly get. But it's okay. I still say choose mystery pick. All right, so we just got done playing. And to illustrate, we played for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. The value of swiping and always using your card and all the things we've been discussing today. Right here, the cash value of the points we've earned today, $433. We're gonna put that back in the machine and we're gonna turn that into the $6,000 that we've got in so far. All right, and the final commandment, well, at this point, it's more of just a favor. Like and subscribe to Vegas Mad. I just probably lost about $6,000 just filming this video. And I do it all for you. So I really enjoy it. Take the time, follow us on the journey. We don't quit. It's never over, wasn't over when the Germans bombed up Pearl Harbor, and it is not over now. We live to fight another day. Look forward to you joining us on this journey.